hello everyone happy halloween i hope you guys had a nice day uh, in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you this cool stuff which i just figured out i saw the video t earlier today when i was watching like the blender conference and like there were a lot of cool reels in it and i saw a rig that they kind of tracked um the lips of a character on top of the face and i was trying to figure out a way of achieving this and i kept, kind of came up with a nice way you can do this so that's what we're doing in this tutorial as you can see it's the rotation is being adjusted um so what's happening okay so as you can see the position is adjusted the rotation is adjusted and it's snapping onto the geometry there are a lot of applications of this particular technique and i'm going to really explore them and you guys will see the result of it but for today we're just focusing on just this little one on just tracking it around the surface okay so let's um go ahead and start from a new fresh scene and i'm going to turn on my screen cast key so you guys can follow along okay so basically what you want to do is of course you want to have your um, base object so in this case i'm going to be using a uv sphere and you can follow along because practicing it while watching it even makes it stick um, faster okay so we have this new um, simple scene this simple sphere and we want to track a torus around it so let's basically go in and add a torus okay rotate it at like x 90 degree and scale it down like this okay okay so now um for the next step we need to um because all the constraint will be added in onto the bone to allow more room for like color effect if you want to add it to the mesh i just find it's easy that way so basically what we want to do is just shift a and make sure the cursor is placed right in the center of this because we want the pivot point of the bone controlling the torus to have the same pivot point of the torus so we can select this torus and hit shift s cursor to selected and then we can add an amateur single bone okay so um, basically what we need to do with this bone is kind of parent it to the torus so we can do that by selecting this shift selecting this go into the pose mode and we can select this and hit ctrl p bone so this one uh, this is a, another method of parenting objects um, so as you can see we can just move this around and rotate this and it works okay so for the next step we'll just duplicate this bone and move it aside so this is the controller bone for all the constraint so for the first constraint um the basic um setup for this or uh, how it works is um first of all we want um this bone to be able to track the um, rotation to, to be able to track the controller with this rotation so it's kind of going like this so if, if you move the bone it's this way it's kind of moving this direction so that's basically what we're trying to achieve um with the first constraint and the perfect constraint for that is the damp constraint um it does that pretty well so we can select this bone go into the constraint tab and select the damp constraint for the target we'll set it to amateur because that's the object level first of all and for the bone we'll be selecting the bone 001 since we just have that's the other bone in the scene so for the track axis um you can adjust this based on your scene and for this i've tested and z works perfectly so now we can see if we move this you can see the bone is tracking along it okay so next the next constraint we need is we need this bone to be able to follow it so it should be tracking that's changing its rotation and also moving along with it so um one fast way of adding constraint especially if you have multiple multiple bones um you can select the controller and select the child and hit ctrl shift c and we'll set it to copy location so it's going to snap it to um, this bone so all we need to do is switch this to local space and everything is good and now we can move this and you can see it's following along and the rotation is adjusting appropriately so one thing but one thing you can notice is that um it's penetrating this geometry so we need a kind of fake collision and we don't want it as and you can see it's not even on the surface it's kind of going crazy and anywhere 
so we want it to be able to snap on the surface so to easily do that you go to add constraint and search for shrink wrap constraint okay so we can collapse this so for the target should be the surface object you're trying to um, kind of move around so in this instance it's the sphere and as you can see it just snaps right into it okay and now we can move along and you can see it snaps nicely so if you're experiencing any penetration you can adjust the distance to kind of determine that and you can just play with most of this parameter but the default usually works great and so that's basically it and yeah so that's basically it for this tutorial i hope this was helpful i have a lot of i'll probably actually go in depth with this because i i see a lot of potential with this um nice cool technique of just be able to wrap objects up um with um constraint i'm going to explore it and, and you guys are going to see the results in the coming days um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it happy halloween see you next time